Hello, everybody, to the heart, mind, and soul, God is love. Today, we're doing collard green cheese balls and bread. What we have here is our parsley, red, our rainbow peppers, red, yellow, and orange. And I also have my green onions and regular onions. And I have mixed gu minced garlic and garlic powder. I also have my onion powder too as well. And not to have a bitterness taste, I did slap a little bit of sugar in there to omit that. And here we have is our uh, cream cheese, banana peppers, and our bacon. And when we get ready to make our collard green balls, we're going to uh, roll it in our mixture of cheese, which is Gouda, Kobe Jack, and Pepper Jack. And then we're going to turn around and roll our collard greens in our sauteed parsley, banana peppers, and our mixture of cheese. So we're going to cheese it out, okay? So y'all go ahead and get ready. This is good for the holidays that are coming up. So let's go ahead and mix up our cream cheese. And before I do, please subscribe, like, and share. And these are our seasons. What we're going to uh, use for our cheese ball center is our onion and garlic powder, our black pepper, paprika, cayenne, and our chicken base uh, dry. And we also going to give ourselves a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. Let's go ahead and begin. Okay, everybody. Now, this is our greens, peppers, and our onions. The ingredients, if you did, don't remember, go back to the beginning of the video and look at it and see what I added in it. But you can always doctor it up yourself and make it your own. But we're cooking off our greens. That's the most important part is cooking the greens off. If you don't like collard greens, guess what? You don't have to add that in. You can just use the other ingredients or you can use kale or spinach whatever you want but this is kind of healthy and i'm quite sure if the kids see you eating uh cooking this and you're eating it uh, involve them on the next go around but i promise you it will not be any left over so not only that y'all holiday is coming up so these are the colors for it and we got all we're going to do is uh cook our liquid out and our collard greens are cooked okay and then we're going to cool it down for 30 minutes or 45 minutes because we do not want it to go in hot if it does go in hot go ahead and still cool it off so that way you can kind of uh, work with it because if it's too warm and liquidy it's going to spread and um, you're not going to be able to manage it so as you can see, we are okay. This is where we have beat up our cream cheese, and we have our bacon, which I use fresh bacon uh, with this. And now I'm adding in my Gouda, my Kobe Jack, and my uh, my Kobe cheese. I know that it's it, it's a pepper jack. That's what it is that I am adding in here. And we're just gonna mix this up, and we're gonna. Uh, put it in saran wrap which I'm gonna let you see that too okay when we get ready to make our ball okay everybody now let's go ahead and uh mix up our collard green mixture with our cream cheese mixture okay i'm gonna need two hands for this so if y'all's all your uh collard greens are already cooled off go ahead maybe y'all are ahead of me okay everybody now this is our collard green cheese bread and we're gonna go ahead and uh, cook this off and we're going to add a little bit more cheese on here okay and we're going to let that get bubbly and brown 
If you want to add a lot of shredded cheese, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm going to try to go ahead and do this one in front of you and let you see. It's real simple. Nothing complicated. If you know how to spread peanut butter, surely you know how to spread this cheese mixture. Okay, everyone, this is our collard green cheese balls. We're finally done. Make sure you um, let this set up because it's going to be soft. And we're just going to give them a spread of uh, dry parsley. And these are our chips. We have barbecue, chicharron, our honey, corn chips, our cowboy season garlic bread and we have our Funyun ruffles so you choose which I'm going to allow you to choose what you want to have your collard green cheese balls um, dipped in okay and I did tell you that I did do the collard green bread and this would be quite a treat I tasted a little bit of it, and it is so good. Y'all go ahead and make this, at least the filling anyway. It'll be good for.